this tutorial is about dodge and burn in photoshop and let me show you guys what i did uh before i can show you guys how to do your dodging and burning on your images in photoshop as you can see uh this image is a, uh, i took it it's for a friend of mine and she's called dorin so i took this image and the settings i used I used the Godox and as uh, bouncing the light off the ceiling, I didn't have enough equipment on me. So that's all I used. And I used the camera, to, uh, I used the 6D camera. So let me show you guys what I did before we can go in and start doing our dodging and burning. And I want to take you guys throughout each and every step. And trust me, by the end of this tutorial, your portraits will have gotten to it bigger and higher level in photoshop so this was the image and i used a high white balance i think i was around 5400 around there that's why the image looks this warm so i had to do everything because she's a dark she has a dark skin complexion so i started by duplicating a background layer then i did my freaking separation as you can see so this tutorial today is about why you should do your dodging and burning as you can see now the before before the image and the after my frequency separation you'll notice frequency separation kind of flattens uh the image so uh you tend to lose out uh the shadows and the highlights when you do your frequency separation so this tutorial is about how we can go about that after applying african separation so this is what i did so you can see before and after and if at all you would like to learn about the method i use for frequency separation i'm going to put the link right above here so that you can check it out then after i did my color grading because i wanted to go in for that melanin kind of look as you can see on this image so this is the before after because i felt the image was really too warm so i did uh corrections on the hair right here I had to fill this area right here and I had to darken the eyebrows and I also did uh, eye whitening as you can see then I also did a little bit of uh, touch up on the hair area you can see that before after so let me group all this I did ctrl G so I'm going to name my folder let me let me just name it retouch so so this was the image before and after you can see uh, we kind of lost out uh, this area on the cheekbone so we are going to correct that by using a uh, dodging and burning and we are going to be using the curves adjustment players in photoshop so just come right down here and select curves so first of all we are going to uh, brighten yeah, the very first one just pull it slightly up uh, you get a midpoint and pull drag it upwards so i think that is fine so we are going to invert this mask Control i on the keyboard so we are going to come back right here on the curves and this time you're going to uh, click on the midpoint and now we are going to darken i think that is fine so make sure the white mask is selected and invert it Control i to invert it so we are going to be painting using uh, a white brush so that we can uh, get back these dimensions right here on the cheekbones and the highlights you may have lost out when we are doing african separation because african separation kind of flattens the image after you have retouched i think most of you guys have uh, gotten this issue like you have finished retouching your image but it looks flat or the facial structures have been lost so this tutorial is for you so we are going to group these two yeah click ctrl or command and select them and ctrl g to group them so we are going to name this folder dodge yeah i don't know i'm putting double d so dodge and burn so so after you you have uh, gotten this you can see there is no change with our initial image so we're going to come back to this group our uh, group so we are first of all we are going to turn off uh, this yeah we want to see the
the initial image before African separation so that we can see where the shadows were and where the highlights were so that's why we are turning off all we did right here so come back to our folder right here and now select i uh, sorry i didn't rename this so remember our below layer was dodge and uh the second one was burn so remember when you're dodging and burning we dodge the highlights or we be enhancing the highlights more and when we are burning we burn the shadows or we enhance the shadows so this is the trick about getting back what you may have lost or uh, by flattening the image after your freaking separation so come to your dodge layer remember it is a black mask so come right here and make sure white is on top or it is on the foreground or you can click and toggle right here or having it as a default just click right here so make sure white is on top select your brush and uh, a normal brush and now come to the opacity we are going to be using a very low opacity we are going to be using nine for this image and the flow at 100 percent so remember we are dodging the highlights so we are going to be painting on the areas that have uh, the highlight on this image using a white brush i don't know if i'm too fast but i wouldn't want this to be a long tutorial so we are now are uh, enhancing the highlights on the face of our beautiful model so just paint over and when you're doing this make sure you don't uh, zoom in all the way on the portrait because you may not notice what you're doing and you may be uh, making errors so you shouldn't zoom all the way in just make sure you dodge and burn the way someone is going to be looking at your image so we have we had a little highlight right here so i'll enhance that so you can even come to the hair and since we have uh so if at all you have the time you can just you can still apply the effect on the hair but i don't want this story to be a long one that's why i've only done on the major areas on the face so right now we are going to come to the burn layer and using while using a white brush and the same settings opacity at 9 and the floor at 100 we are going to enhance these dark parts on the face uh, to bring out the facial structures that may have gotten flattened when we are doing African separation so uh, increase or decrease on the brush size by using the left and the right brackets on the keyboard hope you know that so we are going to enhance this area to remember this uh, area has had been lost so we are going to paint using a black brush sorry a white brush so you're also going to come on the nose area and you're going to enhance this area right here so we want to add depth or dimension to uh, the image so you're also going to come right on the neck area so when you are painting make sure you paint where the shadows are or where they were initially so that's why i'm only painting on those specific areas so you can also do it on the lips if at all you want to have a more professional touch or a more professional look and just paint over the areas where you have uh, the shadows and if at all you feel maybe you had missed out on dodging these areas just come and uh, apply uh, the effect yeah remember now we are dodging those areas with a highlight so i think we are done with that so we are going to activate these layers yet again and uh, we are going to close our dodge and burn layer and you can see before after before after we have enhanced uh the features and the other trick i forgot to show you guys if at all you feel you're not comfortable with uh seeing where these highlights and shadows were so you can as well come back and turn this off uh click on the burn layer and this is like something to guide you and i've already shown you guys this trick when i'm doing my freaking separation so just come and uh, 
dark end so you have something to guide you where to dodge and where to burn so you can come back here and if at all you feel you may have missed out on uh, particular areas get your brush and come back and paint like that i think this really makes sense i forgot to show you guys this trick but let me hope you guys are watching the tutorial up to this and if at all you have you had switched off you have missed out on this amazing trick so just to do that and yeah you'll be done with your global dodging and burning so you can turn back this on and now close that and come and first of all before closing delete this layer right here and you can close that so you can see before after before after now our image has life and has got in dimension you can see it has life right now so this is why you need to always dodge and burn your images in photoshop because they add dimension and they bring back the facial structures that may have gotten lost during the frequency separation so this is enough for today's tutorial and if at all you love this video don't forget to hit the like button and give us feedback yeah in the comment section i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching see you in yet another retouching tutorial